in this problem we have to search a value in a binary search tree so this is the classical uh, use case of searching in a binary search tree no change is made so here we will look at a recursive as well as iterative approach and both will depend on where the node is located so if the node is located uh, very deep then that will depend on the number of nodes that will lie before that so height of the tree from root till that node that will be the time complexity so let's see both the approaches first we will look at a recursive approach then we will look at the iterative approach so let's say we want to search for three year and this value may or may not be present in the tree if it's present return pointed to that node if it's not present then return null we did not find it so let's say we have to find three it's present here so we will return this pointer and you are given root of the tree which is the usual case so you have to implement this search you are given the root you are also given a value so here we have the value is 3 so what we will do we will check if root is null or not so if root is null then we can't do anything return null if root is not null we will compare its value it may be possible that root is holding that value so if root dot val is equal to this val that we want to search then return root next if root dot val is more than val that means this root is more and in binary search tree everything in the left subtree is smaller than root this holds true for all the roots all the nodes so this root value is larger which is the case in our case also 5 is larger than 3 so we know that everything in the right subtree is larger than root so if root is larger everything else here would be larger so we would strictly search in the left subtree so we will return search root dot left and the value else return search root dot right and value so that's it so it will call search on this node again we will check if root is null or not if it's not null we will check if its value is equal to this val or not so it here it will match so it will return this value 3 let's say we want to search 7 so what will happen we will see this is not equal to 7 its value so we will call the search on so we are calling search on 5 is the root and 7 is the value so it will call search 6 and pass 7 and here uh, it sees that 6 is not equal to 7 so it it's a smaller so it will call on its right but its right is null so it will call search null 7 and when this call is made it will check whether this first parameter is null or not it will be null so it will return null that is we did not find 7 here so this was the recursive approach let's look at the iterative approach so let me draw the tree it was 5 3 6 and 2 and 4 so again uh, let's say our function is search root and val so uh, we will have a tree node current we will initialize it to root and while current is not null if current is null that means we have reached the a leaf node and beyond that and still we did not find that value that means we have to return null we did not find that we never look at two nodes at the same level in in the search so either we go left or right so we go left so we will not search in anything in right similarly here we will take any one of the branches and ultimately current will become null so current is here 
we see if current dot val is equal to val then return current we have found a node we have reached the node so we return it else if if current dot val is more than val then what we should do current dot val is more than 3 that we want to search so we know that it cannot be in the right subtree so we shift current here current equal to current dot left else current equal to current dot right so here there is no recursion we have a while loop and uh, uh, we are iterating till current becomes null or we find the value these will be the two scenarios we can find somewhere in this case current becomes 3 so next when we reach the beginning of the loop again we will compare we will find it and we will return it else we will return null or current both are same since this will end when current becomes null so this will be the case when we did not find the node so i hope both uh, recursive and iterative approaches are clear let's look at uh, another example let's say 7 so current is here it's uh, less than value so current becomes current dot right so current comes here again it does not match so again current dot value is less so current becomes current dot right so its right is null so current equal to 6 dot right and 6 dot right is null so current will become null and this loop will end and we will return null that is we did not find 7 now let's write the code for this in C++ Java and Python so first we will write the recursive approach so if not root return null ptr if we found the value we return it if root is greater than well then return left and well if none of the two cases are there then that means this is more than this is less than well and let's see so it works so let's submit and the solution is accepted let's look at the time it takes so it's not that great it's uh, around 13 percent only now we are at 45.53 percent that is at the main distribution so these things are random we jumped from around this region to this region very quickly with the same submission so now let's uh, write the iterative sol solution here so let's comment out this part
or we can also return current both are same and this iterative solution is also accepted now let's write both of these solutions in java and python as well and this solution is taking 0 millisecond that means it's better than all the solutions we don't have enough submissions i think we submitted early today so this is the best solution it takes 0 millisecond so you cannot beat that so let's see uh, in java if we make it recursive there is a difference in timing or not so let's comment this out so in general iterative solutions work better than recursive if the time complexity is similar and we can confirm it here and this recursive also takes 0 millisecond so we don't have uh, enough distribution for run time so this the test cases may be quite small so that's why both recursive and iterative are taking 0 millisecond each now we will do it in python and this python solution takes 92 milliseconds finally let's try the recursive solution and this takes 96 milliseconds 
so in python it's taking a bit larger time and in java it's taking smaller time 